So active transport is the movement of molecule across a plasma membrane which occur against the concentration gradient, which means from a low concentration area to a high concentration area, active transport need energy in the form of ATP. So what is ATP molecule is adenosine triphosphate. So in the exam, please write adenosine triphosphate instead of writing ATP. You can write ATP then bracket adenosine triphosphate and then for the assay, you can continue writing ATP using a short form, but you must at least mention once. All right, for active transport, also need a specific carrier protein with specific site to bind with certain molecule or ions. So carrier protein also have receptor to bind with ATP molecule. Carrier protein can change shape when a phosphate group attached to it. Where's the phosphate group come from? The phosphate group actually is from the ATP. All right. So ATP will give a phosphate group to the carrier protein. Then after that, carrier protein will change the shape. As a result, molecule or ion will move across the plasma membrane. Is it very confusing? Never mind. We got picture after this. Okay, let's see the picture. A sodium potassium pump. So it's a pump. We know that pump is something that push something in or something out. So for this sodium potassium pump is actively pumping the sodium ion out and then potassium ion in. Okay, and A plus out and then K plus in. All right, let's look at the first picture here. Can you see that for extracellular fluid, extracellular means outside the cell. There's high concentration of sodium. And then for cytoplasm, it has low sodium concentration. When we see active transport, it means transport of ions or anything from a low concentration to a high concentration area. So it's against the concentration gradient. So it's an active transport. So the first step is going to be three sodium ion bind to the carrier protein. Then in second picture, the ATP molecule break down and decompose into ADP. ATP into ADP, which is uh, adenosine diphosphate. And the phosphate will bind and release energy. All right, let's see where the phosphate bind. Yeah? So what it means is ATP will come in then it will break down into from ATP, break down into ADP plus a P. So this P, which is this one, will bind to the carrier protein and give energy and ADP will just go away. Understand? Next, the phosphate will bind and then give energy and then change shape of the carrier protein. So after it bind and then it got energy really what? So it can change the shape and so the ion will be transported out of the cell. What I mean by changing shape? All right, let's look at the picture number two here. Initially, it's the ballet V, and then picture number three is a V shape. This is what it means by change the shape. La. Next, after transport the sodium ion out, the carrier protein will remain the original shape. La. So this is the part where the potassium will come in. So potassium will muscle, and then bind to the active site, and then, Phosphate will leave. After phosphate leaves, potassium will be moved into the cell. So it's from V and then become the tabulate V. It will change shape. So whenever phosphate attached or phosphate leaf, right, the carrier protein will change the shape. So potassium is transported through the carrier protein into the cell.